Italians love to argue about the right way to make espresso. The baristas here are secretive, but our reporter Hendrik Velling is determined to find out more. He's headed to the city of Trieste in northeast Italy, where the locals drink twice as much coffee as anywhere else in the country. His first lesson? For me, coffee has always been just about getting ready for the day with my daily dose of caffeine. But now I've realized that not all coffee is the same. And after tasting this one here, I have decided that I have to learn to make coffee like this for myself. And this is just the place to start. The city's port once made it an important trading center for coffee beans, and its most famous roasting facility even offers courses in how to make the beverage. Director Moreno Faina has his own views about the perfect espresso. Why is the barista so important for the taste of the espresso? Oh, you are touching a very delicate point, because barista is a crucial in order to obtain the perfection in espresso extraction. You know, 50% 50% of the final result, speaking about an espresso cup, is given by the blend. But the other 50% is given by the tools, espresso machine and grinders, and mainly from the barista. So professionals need quite a bit of background knowledge. Theory is at the top of the syllabus. Hendrik first has to learn everything there is to know about beans, how they're roasted, and grinding methods and technology. It's a grind, but at the end, he feels ready to tackle the task. Whoa, for more than three hours, I've been taught everything about coffee and its preparation. In theory, I should now be able to make the perfect espresso or cappuccino. But let's see if I can put the theory into practice. Six different factors play key roles. The optimal grind differs from bean to bean and is even influenced by humidity levels in the room. Seven grams of coffee are the right amount for the perfect cup with water at 92 degrees Celsius forced with nine bars of pressure through the ground coffee. This has to be gently pressed into the filter. The brewing process should last exactly 30 seconds. So this is the official espresso machine for the World Barista Championships and I'm going to make my first perfect espresso with this machine. Okay, let's go. When the settings are correct, the rest isn't too complicated. The four-day course that turns Hendrik into a master barista is only the beginning. He would need at least two years of practical experience to really earn the title. Now we can control the crema, the color of crema. They look like a tiger skin on the top. This okay. is most important. <laughs> Compliments. <laughs> Looks aside, it's the taste that counts. Good, very good. good. Yes. <laughs> it's difficult to make a perfect espresso because if you lose one rule, you don't make a perfect cup. Presentation is also important when it comes to a good cappuccino. After making a perfect espresso, it's time to get to work foaming up some fresh milk. So far, so good. Start in the middle, now go down and close. Okay, perfect. But I have to... Uh... Now it's Hendrik's turn to try. And it try seems it's a little more difficult than Michaela made it look. The final attempt isn't much better than his first. Well, maybe it looks a little like a heart? Well, what I found out today is that the biggest barrier to making a perfect espresso or cappuccino is me. I did my best, but I'm afraid there are certain skills a good barista needs. You need a certain flair and a lot of experience. Hendrik has learned that there's a lot that goes into making a perfect espresso or cappuccino. And so, he'll leave it up to the professionals.